welcome to the West Coast Cigar and Spirits Tasting Event. before so of course I had to grab them to come experience it together and so you guys are smoking um, today this is a Miami Cigar and Company this is a Nesta Miranda Habano okay. a fabulous cigar um, really good flavors on it it's a good size that you're smoking too so it's not like a super long lengthy cigar so it's a good one for you know grabbing a cocktail and kind of pairing it together but basically I'll give you kind of a rundown of some basics on how you would want to cut it light it and finally smoke it so basically what you're gonna do, if I can borrow yours, um, with a cutter, you're just gonna take a little snip off the top. And it's really important that when you're cutting it, you don't come down like too far because what'll happen is if you cut it too far down, the cigar's gonna start to unravel. So a nice rule of thumb is to kind of make like an eye shape and just come right on top of the cigar and just take a little snip. And then what you can do is you can actually take a draw right now that it's um, not lit and just make sure that there's enough airflow that comes through it. I'll go ahead and cut yours as well. It's spicy. Yeah, you can you can definitely take um, taste the flavors before you even light it up, which is great. And then what I'll do is I'll light it for you. Okay. Spicy. And then when you're lighting the cigar, basically you want to toast the foot. So this is the head, this is the foot, this is the body. So when you're picking a cigar out, you can smell it, you can sniff the foot a little bit, and you can get some different flavor notes off of it. But the most important thing when you're lighting it is to make it even and not to actually touch the flame to the cigar because it'll it'll overheat it and it'll make it taste really bitter and not good. So that's kind of one of those keys. So it's called toasting the foot and you want to keep the flame a little bit away and you want to just make sure that it's evenly lit. And you want it to kind of look like a flashlight head at the end when you're done. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's really the only time that you have to do this. And then once you get it going, it should stay lit for you. You just want to keep rotating it around. Girl, you know what you're doing. <laughs> you. Lots of practice. <laughs> and see if you blow on it, you can kind of make sure that it's all evenly lit. Right. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take a puff while I just give it one final little light. And you're not going to inhale it. And then I'll toast yours for you as well. And you could just puff it. Um, it's definitely something that you don't inhale. You just take it in and let the flavors kind of hit your tongue. And when you start doing it more often, you can actually do what's called a retrohale, where you'll actually blow a little bit out through your nose. And that, that'll allow you to pick up some extra flavors. Yeah. This is one of, this is a really good cigar. I smoke it um, very often. Getting the hang of it? You good? <laughs> good. You're not inhaling, right? No, you can taste like the spice on it. It's good. Okay. And then same thing for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and take a little puff. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> And it's really good. It's good, right? It has really good flavors. 
especially if you go inside and you grab um, a nice rum with it. That's a phenomenal pairing with this particular it's not cigar. Harsh and it's very smooth. Not at all, I yeah. Love that. It has really nice flavor notes. It is, and they'll really change nice. as you smoke it. So most of the cigars, if you break them into kind of thirds, you have your first third, you'll get different flavor notes. And then when you get to the middle, you'll kind of taste some different things. And when you get off to the last part of it, again, you're going to pick up some different flavor notes. So right. it's a really nice experience overall. And the most important thing, again, is after you're lighting it, you just want to make sure that you're not puffing it like too rapidly because it's going to, again, overheat it. And that'll alter the taste of it. So smoke it casually. And just enjoy it. It has so a spice to it. It has yeah, a spice does. to it. Definitely. It's going to be a lot more harsh. Yeah, it's really good. going to get sick from it, but this is actually really good. <laughs> yeah. I'm so I love good. it. I love I that. Love <laughs> I love it. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for smoking with me, and we'll catch you throughout the night and Absolutely. get you a, a new one when you're ready. Love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Thanks. Another phenomenal event tonight here at the West Coast Cigar and Spirits Tasting. If you couldn't join us this time, we hope to see you at the next event. Be sure to check the CigarAndSpirits.com website for dates and more info on our next event. Cheers.